need to have our morning conversation we need to talk about spousal punishment <laughs> what am i talking about it was all caused by this girl called it yesterday for me mm. uh, in public in front of the kids we were all this you know wonderful couple we love each other we show love and affection but trust to me when we get to the bedroom i used to have my mattress on the floor i'd sleep there i should sleep on the bed uh, yeah they are there they happen I can tell you for a fact, three out of every ten households, they have such problems. So for how long did you sleep on a mattress on the floor? I think for almost nine, nine months, actually. Mm. Every nine day? Months. Every day, every day. And then in the morning, we just I used to be the, the first one to wake up. So my kids would think daddy is always an early riser. But it's the fact that I did not want my kids to wake up, run to the bedroom and find me there. Yeah. <laughs> What do these things couples do to each other? Because I think that was the craziest thing I'd had in a long, long time. I could stop thinking about this guy all day yesterday. Spousal punishment. How do you punish your spouse? So I want to know this morning. Wakikosea, what do you do to them? How do you punish your spouse? Sleep on a mattress every day for nine months. Nine months. The time of a pregnancy. Hey? 0711 is my number. Give me a call. We're talking about spousal punishment this morning. Akikosea, how do you punish them? He's crazy. <laughs> Guy. 0711 is my number. Give me a call. Or send me that text message to 22494 if you want to contribute via SMS. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or my Twitter handles at It's Mine Kigeni or at Classic 105 Kenya. My hashtag is Mine and Kigangi. Could you imagine nine months on a mattress every day? Hey? When your spouse cosayas you, how do you punish them? 0711 is my number. Give me a call. Classic 105. Good times and great hits. I hear on Classic 105, your number one station for good times and great hits. Good morning and welcome to the weekend. It officially starts right here, right now, with my name, King in the morning. After all, it is a feel good Friday. More great jams on the way. As we continue our morning conversation, we're talking about spousal punishment. For me, yeah. uh, in public, in front of the kids, we were all this, you know, wonderful couple. We love each other. We show love and affection. But trust to me, when we get to the bedroom, I used to have my mattress on the floor. I'd sleep there. I should sleep on the bed. Uh, yeah. They are there. They happen. I can tell you for a fact, three out of every ten households, they have such problems. So for how long did you sleep on a mattress on the floor? I think for almost nine, nine months, actually. Uh, every nine day? Months. Every day. Every day. And then in the morning, we just I used to be the, the first one to wake up. So my kids would think daddy is always an early riser. But it's the fact that I did not want my kids to wake up, run to the bedroom and find me there. Have you ever had anything like that in your life? Hey, on a mattress every day for nine months. She needs goma. How do you punish your spouse? That's the question I'm asking this morning. Engineer Jacob Kalu, let me just go to your tweets. Saying, my friend has been living in the visitor's bedroom for six years now. Reason being, she caught him with another... She caught... He caught her with another man. <laughs> Douglas Kipling had saying, men never punish. We always have room for talks, get a solution and forget and move on. Uh, rather swiftly. But ladies will hold a grudge for years. Utapewa hata dawa ukufe. Guy. Keep letting Maniela, you're asking a very valid question. How can a reasonable man sleep on the floor for nine months? We are my pair of majuju. Gee whiz. How do you punish your spouse? At it's mine I can get you at classic one oh five Kenya. My hashtag is minor and king and let's get this conversation going. Hello. Hello, minor. Good morning. I want to tell you. Please do. Let me tell you, there is nothing like punishing your spouse. Me, I was punished when I was pregnant. How did he punish you? I used to sleep in the toilet. You know, the bedroom <laughs> is in suit. <laughs> the, the, our master bedroom is in suit. Eh. He would lock me in the toilet. Eh. He's having some other mpango akando elsewhere. Eh. I'm here pregnant. <laughs> so, 
So when them Pangua Kando, they are having an issue of which I knew. Eh. He beat me up. There are these Meru men who like fighting or everything. For me, I'm an quiet, a quiet woman. Eh. So I don't want to fight. So I don't even want to want, have anything to say. It is at 3 a.m. Dude, you are coming. You are, I can even smell you are fresh from that woman's house. Now, because you've had wrangles elsewhere, you want to come and bring them to me. So he would lock me in the loo. A whole night, I'm pregnant. I'm sitting on the mat, the toilet mat. Yes. And then the next morning, he takes a shower and locks me there. I wouldn't even go to work. What? Until he's coming in the evening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He locked you in the toilet and you're still there the whole day. Yes, and I wouldn't even go to work. Hiya. <laughs> Don't forget I'm pregnant. Yes. Yeah? yeah? So the next day, it's upon me to go and cook issues with my boss. I'm with my doctor that maybe I had gone to the clinic, I had issues. That's upon you. He doesn't care. And for how long did he lock you in the toilet? For how many days? Ah, after at four months. I told, you remember when there was, there was that lady who was cut the hand? Yes. I told my mom all this story. I went and talked to her, uh, my mom's best friend because I could not face my mom. Yeah. Because outside we could kiss. We were the best couple. And she talked to my mom and I had to leave that marriage. I had to leave. Hiya. Yes. Hey, so wait, do you, a guy, do you, do you talk to him now? What? About what? He did not even come to see his son when he was born. So what business do I have with him? I don't have any business with him. It's over. Uh, yeah. we, bypass, we bypass each other like this. And we stay in the same estate. I made sure I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to stay there. I have my money, you have your money. So when he'd lock you in the toilet, didn't you try and fight him? I couldn't. He's so huge. I feared for my life. He could kill me. He could do anything to me. Gather. And the next day, by the way, if I go to work the next day, he's sending me flowers. <laughs> Hi yeah. Hiya. For four months and I'm pregnant. Every day he <laughs> come fight me coming at 3 a.m., 5 a.m. I, I mean, I ask myself, do I really be savvy? No, I can raise my child. Okay. Yeah. All right. What a story. So, think? Sitting in the mattress, I think that guy was was in a comfort. To me, he was in a five star hotel. I used to sit my ass on a toilet mat the whole day, the whole night, because the, the bathtub is is cold. So during the day, now I'll I'll go to the bathtub. I sleep there. I toss my pregnancy there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have never ever had anything like that. Oh, please. Things happen. Things happen outside here. Okay, thanks for sharing your story with me. Yeah, so even that man, tell him he was in a five star hotel. I wish I had that piece of a mattress, even a pillow to sit on. Okay. What the hell? For me, yeah. uh, in public, in front of the kids, we were all this. You know, wonderful couple, we love each other, we show love and affection. But trust to me, when we get to the bedroom, I used to have my mattress on the floor. I'd sleep there, I should sleep on the bed. Uh, yeah. They are there, they happen. I can tell you for a fact, three out of every ten households, they have such problems. So for how long did you sleep on a mattress on the floor? I think for almost nine, nine months, actually. Uh, every nine day? Months. Every day, every day. And then in the morning, we just I used to be the, the first one to wake up. So my kids would think daddy is always an early riser. But it's the fact that I did not want my kids to wake up, run to the bedroom and find me there. As for the lady who was lo- used to be locked in the toilet, what the hell goes on? I swear I'd love to speak to your husband. I really would. Eh? Yeah? Came from Mombasa, unaskiza stories, hapa. 
Let's go to your messages here. Morning, Mina. For three years, I had to pretend in front of everyone we are okay, but decided not to anymore. Now, for one year, we don't talk even in front of his friends or family members. Even the kids now know this is the best decision I had to make. There is no need to pretend. He left me for another woman, and I don't regret treating him like trash. Okay. Mike, you're saying I realize the lady I've been staying with for almost two years doesn't actually love or care for me. I was sick some night and she never bothered at all. From then till now, I sleep on the couch and every weekend I have to sleep out for a night. I don't bother with other women. So, Mike, why are you still with her? You realize she doesn't care, she doesn't love you. Why are you still living with her sleeping on the couch in your own house? Seriously. Frederick Horace, you're saying via Twitter, don't be the person who dictates how someone should deal with their pain, especially if you took part in causing it. Good statement. That's deep. At It's My Neck again, your at Classic 105 Kenya. My hashtag is Mina and King Angi. Talk to me. Hello? Morning, Mina. Morning to you. No. <coughs> hey. I, I, I don't I don't I don't know whether I should pick that man or I should tell him welcome to, to the world that so many people live in. What do you because, mean? Because like me eh. I knew that my husband was having an affair for a very long time. Yeah. So when I when I confronted him and I went to the place he used to live because we were living in different towns. Yeah. He turned against me and it became like now I'm the one person on the wrong. Eh. So any time he would come home eh. We would stay in the city room. We are very okay. When the kids are there, we are very okay. Outside there, we are okay. In town, we are okay. But when we go to the bedroom, mm. he would sleep in whole. suit. He would sleep in his suit. Yeah. And Because he doesn't want to be talked to. And it went on for a very long time. Hataki kulizu wakitu, you ask anything in the bedroom, he stabbed me off of, 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 of pale pale for like three years. He doesn't want to be touched, doesn't want to be talked to. Three, three years? Three years. Three years. I have, I have never forgotten that period. The three good years. Hmm? You, you ask about it and he's like, for what? I'm not interested. Ati hmm? for what? For what? I'm not interested. Go and look for it elsewhere. Hiya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is how we are going to roll. At some point, I locked. I locked him out of my life. I I forgot about him, and right now he's trying to beg me. And I ask him, when he, what happened? What has changed? Eh? Yeah. So when, when you hear people saying things, people go through things in their bedroom. You know. At times he would he'd go and tell the kids, and then Mulale na Mama Yenu, and they would come to my bed. I have two kids. They come to my bed because my bed is huge. He goes and sleeps on the kids' bed. Eh? At times the kids go to bed, he locks their bedroom, and now goes to the sitting room and watch, watch TV the whole night because he doesn't want to be talked to. As if I'm the one who had an affair, not him. Men have that have that tendency. Because I'm to unataka to make yourself the victim. Because now I have talked to your girlfriend, or because I have busted you, or have told someone you have a girlfriend, or have told my relative you are having a, a problem. You have you have kept a woman who no metuachilia. So he doesn't want to be talked to. It. He turns the whole issue against you, and now you become the villain. You become when the eh? Those things happen, minor. Don't be surprised. Eh? Hiya. I don't say hi here. Those things happen. We have gone through them. You cook food, you place it on the table. In a car, you end up with because he didn't eat. Yeah. yeah. You you make breakfast. He 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 comes, sees it, looks at it. Then I enter the bedroom and now go and talk and I eat the food. Even the kids start asking, Baba, can you help me? Baba, can you make me a cup of chocolate? Help me. And I can't say yes, go in a talk on my end. She says, Nikona Haraka, mami, maybe it's a daughter. Nikona Haraka, mami, it won't be any care of China could have come your And you are like, Okay, who am I? Eh? So when you get to a point now, you, the good thing about us women, we have a way of letting things go. Yeah. I, I let him go, I assumed him. So after after some after like four years now he has started coming back begging, Oh, 
what you are snobbing me you don't talk to me because now it came to a point where I am going to do it with you I'll deal with you the same way you're dealing with me. I want to be a good woman before before people. To kikutana mbele watu mimi kama ni kanisa na kaa huko au oh, unakaa huko kama ni kwa relatives unakaa huko na kaa hivyo. If you are going home unatangulia ninafuata. Eh? But you're still want... married. Yeah. yeah we're still married. We have kids. Watoto wanataka baba yao baba yao hawajawakosea. Mimi na yeye ndio tulikosana si wao. Eh? Hey. Stay on. Stay on. <laughs> you see on and, and have fun <laughs> yeah me i see you and i have fun and uh, nowadays i can I, it gets to the evening si tumefanya kazi sisi wote tumeingia kwa nyumba umeingia wewe umechoka ingia wewe ndo lale mimi i have my girls my girls i come we grab a drink i go grab a drink with my friend now nowadays he, he tells me wacha nikuja nikuchukue baadaye ukimaliza nikigie simu nikuja nikuchukue because he has noticed hakuna mtu mwenye akona shughuli na yeye so don't be, let them let, let 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 no one lie to you that things that these things don't happen they happen but at some point you have to know how to deal with them and move on now i've moved on i no longer care even if we stay we stay for 10 years without sex i will not be scared they were it but then i i even cried because i'm waiting this is my husband he's not been around for some time then he comes and and, and doesn't want to talk to me and he doesn't even to touch me or anything but right now i don't care huh? right now <laughs> i am good huh? okay. at, at, right now he, he even the kids come to my bed and say mami tunataka kulala kwa kitanda yako hapana 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 mami anataka kulala wacheni kusumbua mami because he has noticed uh, yeah kumbe huyu mwanamke anaweza ka bila mimi these things happen so don't be worried eh? don't be scared that you must get it it's not new eh? okay yeah have a good day you too <laughs> wow okay now what the hell happens in bedrooms in this country <laughs> <laughs>